It's something most of us take for granted, clean water. Well, tonight, a 12 News investigation uncovers growing concerns though, about contamination underground, making its way into our primary water source. Meteorologist Chris Gluninger reports. This view is 1,000 feet above Lake Michigan, our source for drinking water. This water looks refreshing, but it won't quench your thirst. It could make you sick. Humans are the reservoir for a lot of the things that make us sick. If there's human contamination present, we worry about things like norovirus, Shigella, sometimes cryptosporidium. School of Freshwater Sciences professor Sandra McClellan uses DNA testing on water pouring out of area storm drains into the lake. We'll filter about 200 milliliters. If they find E. coli, they focus on finding the source. The sharp curve on the graph signals human sewage. It's almost in every area that we test at, at some level. This is Big Bay Park in Whitefish Bay. This is one of the problem spots. You can actually zoom in and see the storm drain that enters right into the lake. It did test positive for human fecal matter back in 2007. There was a recent study that the Environmental Protection Agency did in a few years back, and they said that they think that there's between 12% and 49% of sewage never even makes it to the sewage treatment plant. A major concern for Milwaukee Riverkeeper Cheryl Nen, who says untreated human waste is leaving old sewer pipes through cracks, holes, and bad connections. The stormwater pipes really should just be draining the streets and draining our homes. It should just have rain and snow melt. But it's not. So far in the month of November, Milwaukee officially has picked up just over half an inch of rain. Not much since we're almost halfway through the month. But look at the water flowing out of this pipe and into Lake Michigan and into our rivers. It's like a little sewage overflow every day that's going into the river. What level of risk do you want to accept from your water right now? Microbiologist Sharon Long with the Wisconsin State Lab in Madison says the dirtier the water, the more expensive it is to clean. Right now, it costs you about 15 cents per gallon for the clean water in your home or business. That could change. When you go to a convenience store and you buy a bottle of Dasani water for $1.50. Could we ever hit those costs to purify water if the water becomes more contaminated? It's possible. Possible because of aging sewer systems. In an older city, we can have literally tens of thousands of pinhole leaks. More possible with more frequent heavy rainfall. Most combined systems around the country can only handle an inch or less. And we're actually pretty fortunate in Milwaukee where we have some added capacity yeah. through the inline storage system known as the deep tunnel. So it takes almost two and a half inches. But six times in the last four years, we've picked up more than two inches at a time. Volumes that trigger dumps by the dozen or so sewage treatment plants in our area. But McClellan says it's a long term problem in need of a solution. We should have a plan for the next 20 or 50 years how we're going to keep our infrastructure keeping pace with protecting the water quality. Now, you can't point fingers at any municipality or even the homeowners with faulty sewer pipes. The runoff into the lake is not illegal. The reality is our infrastructure is aging. The sewer pipes are wearing out, and we've already stretched their lifespan. There is one more challenge. Over the last decade, federal dollars to repair these infrastructures have been cut dramatically, which means local governments will have to find ways to pay for upgrades. Now, we did contact MMSD for comment. They say the deep tunnel system cleans 98% of everything captured. They also say they are investing $65 million over the next 10 years fixing leaky pipes on private property.